message your daily reflection on this beautiful 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 monday august the 5th or whenever you are seeing this video that is when it's meant for you we know that time is an illusion time does not exist whenever something shows up in your life whenever you start something whenever you do something that is where you're meant to be it is never too early it is never too late the only thing that matters is right now in this moment is how you create your future and how you release the past so my love muffins <laughs> couple announcements here your monthly spiritual guidance will be out this week this week i am not doing a twin flame weekly um energy check in however wednesday i believe seven seven okay if you have not already, it should already be on the channel. If not, it'll be later on today. Well, I'm letting you know that we're actually going to be going live on K Moon's channel. That is an, um, she's an amazing astrologer. She actually specializes in twin flame connections, all pulling charts, all that good stuff, channel messages. <laughs> like she is a twin, twin flame expert. So, um, to celebrate her hitting one, thousand subscribers we are going to be going live on her channel okay meaning i'm going to do a live energy reading and to see what is the next step not for the future not for the past as far as right now okay as far as whatever you define union or what you desire to be in your twin flame connection okay what's the next step for us to move forth. Also, I believe I did see it, but I want to make sure we're going to be um tapping into whoever's live energy. Um, I think she's going to be taking questions, but don't, 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 um, don't, uh, don't hold me to that. I have to see. <laughs> I believe she is. But if you're in the room, hey, you never know what can happen. So definitely make sure that you subscribe to her channel. Okay, you can find that information in the community tag on my page okay so just that's where we're going to be going this week for twin flame okay it's going to be phenomenal i know it's going to be amazing i know that the divine is really going to show out so if you identify with that journey definitely make sure that you head over there to her channel okay on um, we're going to be doing we're going to be going live on august the 7th the day before the lion's gate, okay? And we're gonna see what does that mean for twin flames, okay? So, um, yeah, make sure you check that out. I think I already said it, but I wanna make sure I let you know that your monthly spiritual guidance will be out this week. Y'all know that I don't like to release like a couple at a time. I like to release everybody's at a time because I just, I, I don't wanna choose through who. I love all y'all, like y'all know me. <laughs> okay, but I am working on it. So, getting into this beautiful message that the divine has for you today, and exactly, it's so funny that even though it's Monday, and I know that Mondays brings like fresh starts, this energy is truly um, liberating. It is truly life-changing. From this day forth, like I really feel like where we are headed, y'all, like amazing, phenomenal grade a life shattering in an amazing way stuff is going to unravel and unfold in your life okay and the thing that i love about god i love about jesus the divine your angels your guys whatever you want to call higher source honey you will never be out here looking crazy and not knowing what's needed 
of you to get or to receive whatever it is that you desire, (laughs) whatever it is that you want, whatever you need to do. There is always a plan. There is always a blueprint. You know, everything is always talking to you. And I love that because what I want to let you guys know is I was in meditation as I was really getting ready to um, do this um, soul guidance for today. The thing that came out was out with the old, okay, out with the old and in with the new. It's time to get clear, okay? It's time to get clear about what it is that you desire for yourself, for your life, okay, for your relationships, (laughs) for your family, for you. It's time to get clear. And the reason why I, I don't feel like it's any physical action you know, um, right now in this time, in this present moment, it's more so on you getting clear or making it, you've already made a conscious decision to go out with the old and end with the new. Okay. Because I really feel like what this lion gate, lion's gate means for us is a new beginning, a new beginning. And I, and when I say a new beginning, I just don't mean like a hoop de hoop, like a, you know, new beginning. No, I'm talking about like y'all a new beginning a new world like you're a new inner world within yourself that is going to manifest on the outside so I really feel like today in this moment at some something in your life you're very clear about something okay and that's out with the old and in with the new (laughs) you guys are very clear about being out with the old and in with the new and I want to go ahead and finish these i you know, was just shuffling and but the cards wanted to come out. I'm like, okay, you know what? We got to go with it. We got to do it. <laughs> so I know today is a little bit different than our typical, um, you know, soul guidances, but I do hope that you took the time to meditate today, took the time to ground yourself, took the time to go within, okay, to say some positive affirmations about your life, where your life is going, what you are creating, Okay. I know sometimes when I say that, it probably feel like repetition. Well, guess what it is? Because the more that you hear that, the more that you're going to be reminded to do it. And then the more that you do it, the more that the things that you desire, the things that you like, the things that you want are going to show up in your life. Okay. One, two. These want to to take them. I want to take them. All right. Let's go ahead and get over here. Yeah. Okay, guys, and also make sure that you look, make sure, (laughs) I think I said it wrong. Ooh, make sure that you take the time today at some point, okay, to really look in the mirror or turn that phone around to selfie mode and love on you, okay? Because I really feel like these decisions that you are making in your life, honey, they're not easy, but they are going to be so worth it. <laughs> so maybe you really want to look yourself in the mirror, really give yourself that, listen, you know, give yourself that talk, honey, you know, but like, listen, okay. I know that this is different. I know that this is out of the norm. I know, but you got to trust me. I need you to trust me how you have trusted every single body else with your life with your happiness, and with your well-being. I need you for once to depend on me how you have given people who weren't even worthy your time, your effort, and your dedication. I need you to give that to me. And sometimes we got to have those conversations with ourselves. I have to have those conversations with myself. I have to remind myself that. And sometimes it's really good to remind yourself, reassure yourself. Because whoever is watching this video, everyone can depend on you. You, for a fact, come through all the time. You show up. So, you can trust yourself. I know sometimes these decisions that we have to make, these paths that we're going, these things that we're creating, I know that it can seem scary, okay? Ooh, I know, but I promise you, You can trust yourself. Listen to your inner guidance. Shut out everybody else. Shut out your parents. Shut out your spiritual gurus. (laughs) Okay, even Tori. 
Shout out Tori. Shout out your pastor. Shout out everybody. Shout out everybody except you and go within, okay? And get clear. Make a conscious decision to out with the old and in with the new, all right? Make that conscious decision. Okay, because by you doing, by you declaring that out with the old and in with the new, out with the old and in with the new, meaning whatever does not serve you of your highest good, whatever is not for you, it will go. And guess what's coming in? Everything that should be. And it's perfect. And I, I feel like this week that we're really on this, you know, on this on this um this this wave because we know that we had a mercury retrograde that's ended but we're still in that shadow of that and mercury comes to comes to shake shit up let's be real and so does an eclipse whatever is whatever you know whatever has been laying dormant whatever has been stinking and growing weeds you know and just been your filth just been you know laying around and he hasn't been taking care of it you know <laughs> mercury and eclipse has come to say look at this we're cleaning this up. Like they come to like throw up the dust and now the dust is everywhere. And now you have no ch- dust is on everything. Now you have no choice but to clear things out. And though we're clear things out, okay, though we've got to that, we're still working through the aftermaths of that. Okay, because that can mean relationships. That can be people. That can be beliefs. That can be a great awakening because a lot of you beautiful souls are on a great awakening, a great, a spiritual awakening. And... I am doing something for my channel because anybody that is on that journey, a great spiritual awakening, I'm talking about like, you know, your life beliefs, what you have done day for day, what you thought was the truth you figured out was not your truth. It was not the truth (laughs) that was best for you. The truth that will set you free. That is a scary, scary thing. Okay, because I I went through that and I'm pretty sure, you know, we all the people that went through that knows how that looks. You know, I was a praise and worship, you know, leader, you know, and when that reality was broke for me. You know, that whole little thing that I had held on so tight for so many years, like was my foundation of how I thought God operated and how it was. And I found out that that was a, you know, not what it was. That just really blew my mind, guys. Like somebody has a headache. Mm. Yeah, that like blew, that blew my mind, like on a whole nother level. Okay, so I'm going to be doing something, you know, for people that, you know, um, are experiencing that, you know, a pick a card reading just to really get clear of what is the next step for you because the divine will never leave you out here not knowing. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing that I love. Okay, so enough of that. We're going to go ahead and get into this spiritual guidance for today, okay? So I went ahead and pulled two cards as far as the overall energy, okay? On a spiritual level, what is going on? On a soul level, what is going on on this beautiful Monday or whenever you are watching this video, okay? And what I got for that is that we have the 10 of pen stones. I'm about to say pentacles. <laughs> the 10 of stones with deals with home. You know, home is where the heart is. Home is all the warm, filly, good um, feelings. And I feel like this is a new beginning. And this could be like, you know, a new outlook, a new belief, a new opportunity. Okay. It could be in love. It could be in your finances within yourself in your life I'm seeing all of that good stuff it's everything that feels good to you and I really feel like those things have been crowning you lately okay and also I got the knight of bows the fox and anyone that knows me anytime we see this fox in a reading for me it is it is described like every fox is portrayed in the movie conniving sneaky you know not not a good vibe And I really feel like this is the old and this is the new, okay? And today, you are making a conscious decision to let go of something. This could be a person. This could be an old mindset. You, the way that you think. You get what I'm saying? This could be a situation. Um, 
a belief, a thought that you keep repeating, a, a thing that you keep doing over and over, a, a way that you keep going over and over. One of the let's 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 let ooh, can I speak? <laughs> let me go ahead and put Tori out of there. You know what? You know what this and what what this is for me? Surrendering control. Yeah, you know. Because your, your love muffin, Tori, at times has a, likes to control, a perfectionist, whew, a perfectionist, likes to control everything, you know? That's the thing about, you know, really um, operating in my gift. I feel like we all have the spirit of discernment. We're all empaths. We're all can tap into that angelic realm. It's just that I really flow in that because on a conscious level, every day I'm making a conscious decision to connect with my intuition and to go to really tune into that frequency. You know, one of the things is though, <laughs> I like to know everything. I don't, I don't want to leave nothing to the unknown. I want to know how it's going to happen. A, B, what I'm going to wear, how it's going to happen. What, what's what we're going. I, I just need to know everything. And, and in that reality, it, it can't be like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just can't be like that. And I realized, um, you know, some ways that me wanting to control everything <laughs> that it's, it's not, it's not okay. You know, it's, it's just not healthy. It's not, it's not good. It's not getting me where I desire to be or what I want. Okay. And I realized that I have to surrender that over. And I truly feel like, um, it can be something like that, or it can be a situation. It can be a relationship. You and your heart know what this thing is. Okay. Cause, um, for all of us, it's something different, but I'm nine times out of 10. I'm sure I didn't call it out. I didn't call it something out. Even, you know, whether it's a belief that you keep thinking or how you keep seeing yourself or something that you keep participating in an unhealthy situation, unhealthy people, places, things, but it's time to go. And I really feel like, um, today, you know, as we come into this lion's gate and you really are manifesting your heart's desires, manifesting a new beginning, a new way of living, a new way of seeing, a new way of being, okay, take this time today to go in and get clear on what needs to go. What are you indulging in? What are you partaking in? What are you participating in? What are you doing? And you on a conscious level and an unconscious level sometimes, <laughs> Um, knows that it's, it's, it's time for it to go. It's time to, it's time to get out of this. This is not serving you. You get what I'm saying? This is, this is not of your highest good. This is, this is not, you know, a part, I feel like the plan for you, <laughs> you know, maybe it was to learn a lesson in a moment, but on a greater scale, on a bigger picture, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. I really feel like that's what's going on because this is what's, this is the energy out with the old. Because with this gone, look how light that is. Look how, look how, 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 how good that feels. All right. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to be, we're going to go ahead and just see what soul guidance you know, what clarity, <laughs> what message does the divine have for the beautiful soul that is watching this video where are we going what should we do <laughs> okay so the first thing that we have is take shelter that is your first guidance for today take shelter the answers are within going within to seek that like now remember i told you not listening to any gurus your pastor your friends your cousins you know they're good for confirmation but for real for real at the end of the day even your tory at the end of the day i can only go so far with you. They can only, people can only go so far with you until even tarot can only go so far with you. So you have to go within and internalize that. All right. To really get the answers. It's time for you to go within. It's time for you to sit in your emotions. It's time for you to sort out what makes you happy. What doesn't, what feels good. What doesn't, you know, what are you being committed to that's not honoring you? That was one of the questions, you know, that I had to look at, you know, what boundaries do you need to set for yourself, for your life, for your career, for your business, <laughs> you know, taking shelter to go within whatever answer of clarity, okay, that, or anything that you're looking for, I promise you it's within, okay, 
And what I don't know, maybe you're fearing going within, looking at things, having to sort things out, you know, because maybe sometimes, sometimes we leave things up in the air. You know, we need to be doing something, you know, we don't want to do it. We put it off, procrastinate, <laughs> you know, oh my God, there is a beautiful soul. I don't know his name, but oh my God, he was, he's so phenomenal. He's an Aries and he reached out to me. Y'all, he is, he's just, he's just such a light. He's such a light. Um, and he was talking about, um, hope I don't, I ADHD and, um, you know, it hit me because, you know, procrastination <laughs> was like one of the things and I, within myself, you know, had a fight with procrastination, you know, like that procrastination used to rob my back, honey. Like I would wait till the last minute, you know, to, to look at something to, you know, to, 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 um, to face something, to look at it. Okay. And I really feel, um, you know, just what he was saying, you know, just, um, Whatever you want to do, just, you know, just get that shit done. <laughs> and I like that scenario because I promise you, whatever you, whatever you're dreading to, to face or you're putting off, not wanting to go there, you know what I'm saying? I promise you, just get that shit done. Go within. The answers are already there. Maybe you're a little nervous, okay? Um, to, you know, to do what it is that you have to do, to step out there, to put yourself out there, to open up, to move away, to let it go, to truly stand on your own two feet, to be you. I know sometimes that's scary, but I promise you when you do that, you're sitting with the 10 of pentacles. Pentacles are all about manifestation coins. Uh, I love pentacles. All right. Richness, home. When you think about home, look at these cards that follow it. The queen of um, the queen of vessels. All right. The salmon, it deals with the fish out of water. Maybe, maybe where you're going, it's not the norm. What you desire, it's not the norm. But well, well, I'm happy because you're not normal. All right. You came here to stand out. You came out here to do what it is that you want to do. Okay. And to me, I feel like with the with um answers you know taking shelter going within this car really um also deals with finance finances a career change coming through maybe you've been you know waiting maybe something went wrong and it's it's just not go within maybe you didn't need to be at the job maybe you know that was really delaying you from really you know stepping out there you kind of stayed there in a the comfort zone when it's time for you to get out and do something different and really flow in your purpose you get what i'm saying okay now, even taking shelter, okay, the answers are within. We also have the two of cups, attraction, love, okay? Maybe it's time for you to open up, to go deeper into your connection. Maybe it's time for you to take shelter, to go within and realize, like, am I really happy? I know this is probably what everybody wants from me or I, you know, I don't want to hurt my partner, but am I really happy? <laughs> you know? And if you evaluate, you know what? I am really happy, then good. But I feel like whoever this is resonating with, you're not happy in your relationship. And until you release yourself from that relationship that no longer serves you, you are not going to come into your 10 of pentacles. You're equal. Someone that gives equal as you. Someone that loves like you. Someone that looks at you like you are a plate of their most favorite delicious food. <laughs> you know, that, you know, that, you know, when you think about them, you smile, you know, that future, marrying your best friend, being in a relationship with your best friend. And also for you ones that are out there dating out there, you know, um, <laughs> doing whatever, you know, but you're a little scared to open up. It's time to throw that fear, throw that doubt. And for some of you that desire to really come into this and you know, you know, this is yours, but maybe there's some healing that has to take place. Okay. Today is the perfect day to take that time, take shelter to go within and find the answers to get clear on what you have to do. What do you have to move away from to come into your abundance, to come into your happiness? That's the question of the day. What do you have to move away from to get more happiness, more joy, more love, more abundance within your life? And you can tie that into any situation, anything. 
But that's the overall energy, figuring out what needs to go, what do you need to go away from, okay? And I feel like whatever this is, it's not a real easy decision because you see this person there, I'm not the person, <laughs> you know, the slot, whatever this thing is. You see it moving away, but it kind of, it's like, it's pause, you know? It's thinking, you know? Maybe you're already moved away. Maybe you're out of it, but you're like, is this the right thing? Listen, if you are going away to something to honor you, to find you, to be true to you, it is the right thing. 100%. Okay? And I feel like today, that's the that's like the big thing. Going, you know, what, what needs to go in order for this grand beginning to happen? What needs to go so something can get started? Okay? What do you have to do in order for something to get started? Yeah, because where wherever you're going, you can't you can't take it. I'll tell you that, okay? Traveling light, okay? Simplify your life. Take it to the trash. Only what matters is going to us in this lion on this lion's gate. This new portal that we're walking into, only what matters is going with us. Out with the old, in with the new. It's time to get clear because whatever you've been holding on to, whether it's a thought, a person, a place, or a way you perceive yourself, a way that you've perceived your relationship with the divine, it don't matter. It has caused you to miss amazing opportunities. And I feel like this opportunity is here again. And you deserve this. With the queen of bows, you've been through a lot. You have experienced a lot. I'm in your energy. It's beautiful. You're so loving. You're so caring. You're so nourishing. You'll give your last to see somebody happy. Okay. And maybe that's the problem. With the seven of vessels mourning, it's time to go away from that from somebody. It's time for you to stop sacrificing your happiness for others. It's time to heal that. Okay, it's time for you to work on you, travel light, go in, see what you have to release. It's, it's time to let that go. I really feel like you've paid your dues. You've paid, you've, you, you've paid it. it. It's time for you to receive, receive something good. That's what I'm hearing. It is. You know, it's time to travel light. Ooh, ooh, look at this. Maybe all that, maybe it's something you've been holding on to internally. All this pain, you know, or the doubt, the fear. It's time to heal that. It's time to begin to work on that, healing that, mourning that, moving away from that, traveling light. Maybe it's not a person. Maybe it's a belief. Maybe it's it's past pains, past memories that you're holding on to. A way that you see, a way that you're looking at yourself. And it's time to go away from that. Because what I see and what I feel is an amazing, beautiful person. It's time to let go of that. It's time to let go of the old and, and bring in the new. Yeah, look here. Surrendering to the journey. It's time to surrender to the journey. Release control. <laughs> ah, that's funny. <laughs> because when you release control, the desires of your heart, the forest lovers, Ooh, desires and love, whatever it is that you love, whether it's mullah, people, places, things, <laughs> yourself, like love, like abundance, all of these things. When you surrender to the journey, when you release control, when you just say, okay, here it is, I I'm just going to do it. You know what? Throw, throw them chips up, throw them pentacles up in the air, wherever they fall, just let them fall. <laughs> you know, just, just let the cat out the bag. All right. I promise you, and it's going to bring you so much ecstasy. With the five of vessels right here, okay? With the ace of stone, the foundation of life. This is what's going on right now, guys. So much beauty. When you make a conscious decision to let go of the old and allow the new. And in this moment right now, it's time to get clear. It's time to get clear, my beautiful souls. <laughs> it's time to get clear, honey. 
okay? So what I want to do on a soul level, okay? I want to tap into all of the beautiful souls that are watching this video, okay? Spirit, what would you like them to know on a soul level when it comes to manifesting their heart's desire or letting go, okay? Letting go of the old and coming into the new. What would you like them to know? The beautiful soul that is watching this video, what would you like them to know? I think that's the only one. Let's make sure. Deep, deep. Okay, no, we got two more. Yay. Okay. Ooh, this is good. I'm taking this one too. This is good, y'all. <laughs> All right. So first is, it says, what spirit wants you to know on the soul level when it comes to out with the old and in with the new. It says, we should not fear an obsession for building a great free life. We should not fear it. Remember I told you somebody's been sacrificing themselves for others. It's time for you to do that for yourself. It's time for you to build your life for you. Don't fear it. Don't fear an obsession for building a great free life. Free, free, freedom is ringing. Freedom has called your name. All right? So don't fear it. And it says we should not fear an obsession for building a great free life. Maybe you've been told, you know, that self-sacrificing is what you do. Because I was told that that's what I do for the divine. That's what I do, what you do for God. But that's a lie. That's a lie. Because you know what? What I'm doing right now by me flowing in my purpose, what I get to wake up every single day to do, love willingly, happily. I have reached so many beautiful souls. So many beautiful souls. Okay? That I have helped overcome depression, walk away from, you know, a life that was comfortable, but they were scared. They really wanted to live their dreams, <laughs> you know, backpack across the world, move out of domestic violent relationships, overcome suicide, 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 su oh, I can't even say it, suicidal, you know, um, also overcome drug addictions. However, it was spoken to me at one point in time that what I am doing is not of God. It's not in my plan. I should not be doing this. This is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay. But there was something in me that said, yes, it is. This is what I want. This is what I desire. All right. And your thing doesn't have to be that, but I'm just giving an example of don't be af afraid, you know, don't fear an obsession of building a great free life. This to me is a great life for me. This is freedom for me. It doesn't matter if it's freedom for everybody else, but it's freedom for me. Okay. And someone ne needs to not be afraid to go create. All right. Or obsessed or want to build a great, better life, free life for yourself. Okay. And next, you know, and when it comes to on a soul level, out with the old and in with the new, it says we do not need to wait for the perfect conditions because if we do, it'll never be perfect enough. I'm telling you <laughs> to start something, create something to do something. It says we will find perfection in progress. Yes. You hear me? Let me tell you something. When I started guided intuition, honey, you know, I look at that number, you know, and so many people reach out to me like, oh my God, can we need to work together. Like, how did you do it? You know? Um, and 22,000, you know, 22,000 beautiful souls. That is, that is such an honor to be a part of your journey and to know that 22,000 people have made a conscious decision to love their self, to know their worth and to accept who they are. That is so amazing. That is so liberating to me. Okay. You don't understand. Um, and one of the things is, you know, I started on an Android, <laughs> A little Ikea, ooh, what is it, $9 table, <laughs> um, you know, 
just, just really just winged it, you know, just threw myself out there, you know, you know, cause at first I wanted this candle not like this, not like, Oh my God, can I speak this camera and all these beautiful, all these things I thought that I just needed to get started to, you know, to put myself out there. But in reality, you don't. Okay. We do not need to wait for perfect conditions. We will find per- perfection in progress. Listen, if you're waiting for the right moment to start or to walk away, let me tell you something. You're always going to find a reason as far as not to more than a reason to follow through. So you just have to get out there. You got to do it. Okay. In whatever condition that you're in, (laughs) you just got to do it. And then you're going to find perfection. You're going to find peace. You're going to find growth in your progress. Okay. And then we have to stand emotionally open before the world and give of our hearts without fear of hurt or demand <laughs> of represent. Oh, I always mess this word up. <laughs> this is the ultimate act of human courage. Okay. Mm. For me, this is screaming courage to stand in your truth. You got to make a stand. Okay. No matter what comes with it, not expecting it from, you know, any like an outcome from anyone, (laughs) you get what I'm saying? Or someone to agree with it, to understand it, but really you just making a stance in your truth. Emotionally open, being truth, no more deceiving, no more hiding, no more running from it. I promise you there is so much Freedom, when you decide to stand in your truth, no matter what that is, I promise you. All right. Last one, my loves, we have any dirt or garnish of yesterday belongs nowhere near now, but rather in the span of history where we need not ramage about. And to me, this is like, let the past be the past. Let the past be the past. Allow it, let it go. It no longer serves you. It's no longer who you are. You don't even have to bring it up. It's history. Why look back? And I feel like, you know, when you do that, you're going to allow these great new beginnings to really flow in your life because the divine, the universe, the divine is speaking, honey. Wishes are granted, wish fulfilled. And you know, we're coming into a full moon in Aquarius. Oh my God. And then we're going in a whole, you know, a whole new (laughs) time in Aquarius. So it's, it's so much to look forward to. It's, it's so much greatness, so much happiness, so much prosperity, so much ecstasy, so much healing, so much life changing energy experiences with your name on it. Okay. So I love you guys so freaking much. Go have a phenomenal, phenomenal Monday or whenever you are seeing this video. Just know that I'm sending you oodles of love, light, and peace. Don't forget to go out and hug a tree for me and you when I go on my morning walk with my sister. I will definitely hug some trees for you guys, okay? <laughs> I love you and I will catch you on my channel. Take care. Just to follow, she blazing.